Hi guys, welcome back to Happy Boys channel. This is Hannah, your usual company for Shopify tutorials. In today's video, I will show you how to create sub collections for your Shopify store. If you have used Shopify for a while, you will realize that Shopify doesn't support creating nested categories for all of your products. But today, you will be able to do that. My suggestions for this is linkless. So, how to do that? Let's dive into it. Before start, let me show you the result for today's tutorial. Here, this is a demo store, and this page includes women clothing with dresses, tops, t-shirts, singlets, and etc. Anything for a woman to wear on. You can see each of these collections here has more products inside, but in this case, I haven't added more products for each collection, but it should have. After this video, you will be able to create some collections with a style look exactly like this. Code is provided in the comment section, so there's no worry for you. Anyway, this, this is just an example for our today tutorial. Now let's work on this store. On this demo store. I just have created, okay? First, let's see, let's see this simple tree to see the principle. Here is the tree I am, I'm talking about. Women clothing is the parent collection. Dress, shirt, and shoes are three child collection. And long dress, skirt, camisole, etc. Tying long sleeve blouse. Slim fit, anything here, are the products of each child collection. Okay, so the principle here is very simple. We will create all the collections, then create the hierarchy with a navigation link list. In this case, I will create three collections dress, shirt, and shoes. Then, women clothing will act as a parent collection. Okay. Now, let's create the child collection. Okay, I will go from the Shopify admin, I will go to the products. Then collections. Create the collection. Here you can type in your title of the collection as a description, the uh, condition if you want. The uh, listing preview will appear here, but in the in today I will create a three child collection dress, shoes and shirt here. Let's have a look at dress collection. Here is the title is dress and there is the product is the collection description. Here are the product will be automatically added to this collection and this is the preview okay I believe that creating collection has no difficulty for you okay so I will do the same with the other two collections shoes and shirts it's very quick so I will pass this slide to move on to the next one okay Child collections are created, now it's time for parent collection. The purpose of this is to have a collection that includes three collections that I created before. I want to name my parent collection as Women Clothing. Okay, I will stay in this page and create the collection. Okay, I, actually I also created the, the, new, the parent collection here. The women's clothing. Here's the title, and here is the uh, description. I put it. Uh, I put it uh, manually, so I just click save. Okay. Then I can go to the. So uh, at this step, I want to show my new parent collection in the main menu. So to do this, I will go to the online store. This step is. Uh, in this step, we use the link list here, so it's pretty important. Okay, so we go to the navigation. 
I will create a new menu here. I will click on the Add menu. Give it a title, for example. Okay, then I will create Add the menu item. Okay, let's see dress. Okay, then link to choose the collection. Choose the dress collection. Okay, then add. I will create. The, I will add the shirt link collection. The shirt here. Okay, it's pretty simple. Okay, but uh, today I created the new menu, so I will show you here. This is my new menu collection women clothing. Please remember the format when creating the link list. Collection, then the name parent collection. Here I choose the collection, then the name is women clothing because it's why I have to do this because it uh, appear, will appear in the handle here and it's the uh, some uh, and uh, it, it it affects the code, okay. So this is my parent collection. My parent menu menu with uh, three collections here: shoes, shirt, and dress. Okay. So the next step is to update the collection template. To do this, I will go to Themes, Actions, Edit Code. Just some seconds. Yeah, I will look for five with the name collection is dark liquid you can also find here here, here it is in the template directory okay then I will paste the code right right here in this place okay so why is the code here this is the code the worry is that I put I put the code in the comment section so you can go there and get it yourself Copy it and I paste it here. Hit set. Okay, then the next step is add slide for the sub collection. Okay, I will find for the team liquid Here it is. Here, yeah, it's in the access directory. Okay. What happened? Why is so empty here? I will refresh this page. Okay, it is. Then I will scroll it to the end of the file and put this code. Put the second code here. Here it is the second code. Copy, paste, hit set. Don't forget this step, okay? Yeah, everything is done. Now it's time to check on the star. There is my star, it is a menu, with me closing. Yeah, this is a result. Looks the same as. This oh, right? So here's the three collections, the choice collections I mentioned before. They are all here, and this is my final result. Well, I hope that you guys will find any difficulties in doing this. But if you do, just give us a like. Our team will help you. So that is for today. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Happy Boys for more tutorials on the Shopify store. Enjoy, see you in the next video. Bye!